Hey guys, welcome back to Little Lady Plays. If you guys have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for coming back. You guys are wonderful and amazing. And if you guys are new here, don't be a stranger and feel free to subscribe. Today, on our journey through play, we are going to check out this game, Plight. Now, if you guys have been subscribing or checking out my blog, you will know that already two times I have featured the game Prime Climb because I totally love it and I think it's amazing. Now Plight over here is a game that is equally as educational as Prime Climb. So if you guys haven't already, check out the description box below because you will find three things there. Number one, you will find a link to this game because after you see this review, this is something every classroom or homeschool would totally love in beginner math. And the other two things will be the two posts to Prime Climb. Now let's get started. Okay, with the gameplay. So, as with any other game that you play, the first thing you need is the board. Well, not any other game. Some games don't require a board, but check it out. Now, the first thing I love, really simple board. Simple, attractive, easy for the kids. And it starts over here through one. And the whole point is to go around and around the board and climb the mountain and win. That's quite simple. Really easy for the kids to follow and understand. Really easy for the kids' directions. Not a problem. Now, we have some cards here. The cards, they're not so important. I mean, let me rephrase it. They are important in the game. If you have kids who get overwhelmed and just don't like cards, get rid of them. Not a problem. You know, you pick it up every time you land on one of these. But they add a dimension to the game, but they're not a must for the game. As you can see, they're all different cards. Let's say, you know, let's say you're here to move ahead or just kind of different things to make the game more fun. You can, you know, again, just different ways to win and it's cute. One thing that I love and I felt that is so thoughtful of this game, look at this, a bowl to roll the dice in. Now if you have kids, especially when they're first learning to play and they throw the dice and they end everywhere and you spend half the game picking up dice, this actually comes with this adorable bowl. So you roll the dice in the bowl. I'm not going to do it for here because it's too loud. So, but when you're playing the game, this is so adorable, so thoughtful, way to go. Now, of course, this is another thing I love. This game is just... I just, perfect. Look how many pieces. So this is the amount of children that could play. So how do we play? Let's get playing. You start off at the start square. And like I said, very simple. Go to the top. Now here's a few ways that we play. The first way is for the beginner who's first learning addition is they take a black and a red. They roll it. And simple. They have to add the numbers and then they have to go around the board until they obviously reach the top. Now that's level one for addition. So six plus 12, you say they know that two plus six is eight and it's 18. So you would have to go all the way to yeah, 18. Now for children who are more advanced in addition, let's say they would roll again. Let's get rid of purple for now. They would roll again. And then not this one is 10 and now they, have, they can't count because we don't count. We make everything hard. They would have to do 10 plus 18 is, <gasps> figure it out, 28. And only then can they move around the board. Now for children who are on the level of advanced, this is where I totally love whiteboards. And I suggest get whiteboards. But anyway, whiteboards, pens, pencils, whatever medium you have, paper, paint if the kids like to paint, why not? You know, but anyway... If they cannot do it mentally yet, totally let them go around the board this way. All right, next level of play is multiplication. Now, multiplication, there's a few levels of play. It's similar to addition, of course. The first level of play is, is you start off with the one, well, actually, we use the black die. You start off with the one, and then they roll it. One times, oh, one times one is one, and they go, and obviously they start by one, and they roll it again. 1 times 11 is 11, 11 plus 1 is 12, and you're actually creating these complex, well not really so complex, but you're introducing them to the review of their math facts, and you're combining addition. So, you know, as the children learn, it's 2 plus 1 is 22, and again, um, sorry, 2 times, <laughs> 2 times 11 is 22. But the key is to keep advancing their math skills with the gameplay. Now here's what I love about this game is 
if you have different children, so let's say you have a child who just like knows their math facts, then that child will just roll it, multiply, add, and fly through the board. And most likely, from anyway, from my past experience, and I've only had this game for a short while, but anyway, what I have noticed is the child who knows their math facts very well and can do multiple dice at a time, they'll fly through the board and win. So that's not a problem. But the child who is doing their smaller numbers, because they don't really necessarily have as many chances to get bigger rolls, then you know what? That's totally cool. Because you have now have more time to sit and focus with that child. So this game is just amazing because, again, you can do addition, two dice. You can do multiplication, two dice. You could pick a number that they're working on and just keep rolling the other one to review the math facts. Again, addition, multiplication. And these cards kind of throw in curveballs, so it's not just about math. It's like, oh, I'm doing math again. No, one card would say, you know, go to the next level. And if they happen to be a 97, well, guess what? Next turn, they're the winner. So overall, this game is so super duper amazing. I would highly recommend it. It is the best way to practice math facts, addition, and multiplication. And the best part about it is your kids won't even realize they're playing. And I just want to thank you guys so much. Don't forget to check out the description box below. Totally purchase, oops, purchase this game for every classroom and homeschool because this is totally a must-have. And you ask your kids what they feel about this when they're finished. And for those of you who are new to the channel, well, welcome aboard. And you know what? I'm here for my kids, for your kids, for the kids in my play-based education program. And I cannot wait to share more hands-on education with you guys because when your kids are happy, that's when they're learning most. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment in the comment box below because I will totally get back to all of you guys. Happy playing!